All right, McKinley, we're gonna try mango today. You gonna try it? You can't eat it like that. Mommy gotta puree it first. McKinley, over here. You gotta puree it first, okay? You can't eat it with the skin on. Let me have it. Let me have it. Give it back. Give it back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, you ready to make some mango puree? You wanna try mango? What you think? You think you're gonna like it? Yeah, let's give it a try. Say yeah, mama. All right, we're gonna give this mango puree a try. So we have uh, found some organic mangoes. This is new for baby girls, so we'll see how she likes it. So try to cut it the, where the along where the seeds at that where you're going to cut the seed in half so I kind of want it shaped like that I'm going to cut it all right all right so I'm going to cut along the sides and I actually love sucking on the seed you can kind of see the seed right there the white part starting to come through so we'll kind of cut alongside it in there. I like to save it and I'll just like eat the meat off the seat later. But this is pretty sweet. Let's give it a taste. Mm, very sweet. So hopefully she'll like it. So here's the seed underneath all that. It's pretty big. So I just put that to the side and I'll enjoy that later. So now I want to cut the skins off the skin off. So I kind of just go along with my knife. Yeah. We're gonna get you some mangoes. Mommy loves mangoes. So we'll go along and cut that. So if you did get any of the seed, obviously you wanna cut that out. I guess I'll eat that later. Kinda just wanna skin the mango like that. We're gonna chop this up and steam it. I've gotten all the meat off of the skin and I've cut into chunks. Honestly, I don't, I have a steamer basket, but this is just easier to put some water in a pot, boil it, and then this metal strainer I have, I'll use that as a steaming option for her meals. And then I'll just put a lid over it. We'll do that for about six, seven minutes. All right, let's take a peek. All right, they've tenderized quite a bit. They're getting like a little transparent, so that's when I know they're done. And I'll just go ahead and turn off the flame. And pull this off. Set this in this bowl. So any drippings will fall in there. And once it cools, we'll puree it in the Nutribullet. All right, so these have cooled. I put them in the Nutribullet jar. One wasn't much, but again, she's just testing it out, see how she likes it. So they are pretty moist, but I'm gonna add a little bit of water from when I steamed. This is filtered water. And I like using the water from the steam because it has some of the nutrients from the mangoes in there. We're gonna give that a whirl. All right, so these are done, pureed. So you see the texture. Tastes pretty good. See the texture. Got a little slime effect going on, but I'm sure once you mix it with another fruit, maybe mix it with, um, I don't know, fruit or vegetable, and the zucchini's kind of neutral. So we'll see how she likes it. I like these because it fits into her little breast milk bag really nicely once they freeze. All right, let's try some mango.
to be. You like it? Oh, wow. It's a different taste, huh? It's sweet. <laughs> a little tarty, just a little bit. Ready to go back to your vegetables, your spinach, and your sweet potato? Now let's put your passy up. You done with that for right now? You gave it a try. We'll try it again, okay? And we'll mix it next time. We just gotta give it a couple days. Make sure you're not allergic. Okay? Yeah. Good job trying. <laughs>